Hi everyone, uh, out at the field uh, today uh, after a couple weeks uh, off, I just got a small window of weather here before it starts raining again. Uh, uh, just, you know, spring weather here on the wet coast of Canada, can't complain, got a lot of flying done uh, already. So anyway, today I'm kind of doing a bit of a two-fold test. Uh, I'm testing the uh, GemFan 6045 carbon nylon prop on the uh, 2212-6-2200 kV uh, motor uh, on 3S. You know, this is, uh, you know, kind of the park jet workhorse uh, motor so to speak. Uh, really good numbers on the bench. Uh, over a thousand, thousand and twenty grams of thrust at full throttle, uh, about 540 at uh, uh, mid throttle. I'll have the exact numbers uh, posted uh, below. Um, but yeah, inexpensive prop. And second thing I'm doing is I'm field uh, testing for the first time this uh, FlySky FSI-6 uh, transmitter here that uh, I've already shot a couple videos where I use this plane to uh, to set it up and fine-tune so uh, enough of my gabbing here so I don't have a timer there we go I got a timer on my watch so we'll have to go with that so it is a bit breezy here today I'll do my best to give a get a couple of good passes here but whoa easy trigger <laughs> Yeah, so this prop, uh, I've already tested this once on the Racer Star uh, 2406 2600, and I think it's really ideally suited for, you know, lower KV motors. Um, you know, that extra sort of half um, bit of pitch over the 6x4 APC gas, and the fact the prop's a little bit longer, about 3 16 of an inch longer. Oh, there's a good gust, baby. <laughs> now, I did, when I came out to the field today, I did, uh, I did have to play around and uh, find um, a ring that would fit. I actually ended up using a ring, a prop ring, you know, a spacer ring out of a 6x4 APC sort of electric style prop because it was running really, really rough. Um, RC Plane Pirate did an excellent video a while back on you know the balancing of some KMP props and that was one of the things that nice that he went over um, you know was the fitting of the prop ring but anyway so that's something to be aware of <laughs> nice we're all over the place here Yeehaw! Um, so you know top end I don't know that it's a whole lot uh, faster I already flew a couple flights with the 6x4 APC gas you know just uh, so top end, I don't know that it's a ton faster, but mid-range, uh, definitely uh, I notice, um, you know, some, some good power, good torque. Uh, the nice thing about this prop, you know, is it's, if you can get stuff from Banggood, um, it's maybe more readily available. I know some folks, depending on where you are in the world, have a tough time getting those, uh, those 6x4 APC gas props that I like to use so much. Um, plus, you know, with, with, uh, with the fact that you get four of them in a pack, free shipping, uh, it works out, uh, you know, considerably cheaper per prop the, than it does for me with the 6x4 APC gas. I order mine from the U.S. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the transmitter a little bit. It's, uh, I actually had to, um, Increase my expo by about 6% in the pitch and the roll over uh, the video that I shot just because I found it almost was the first flight anyway. It was almost like I was flying with no expo. It was just super, super responsive. Um, I also toned down the, uh, the roll, the ailerons, um, and the elevons by about 10%, the roll portion of those. Can't get her stable here. Yeah, a little rough in the wind. There's my timer. So the sticks, you know, of course it's a brand new transmitter. So uh, the sticks, the sticks feel super, super smooth, which I think is one of the reasons why I, I, uh, I had to, uh, you know, dial down my expo a little bit because you know you fly with a certain transmitter for hundreds and hundreds of flights and you get used to a certain. Uh, you know a certain tension on the sticks so uh, I did have to uh, do that so let's just check the uh, 
the motor here it's pulls on the bench it pulled about 32 amps um, with this prop uh, most of these motors I, I you know I normally uh, think of them as being about a 30 34 amp motor yeah it's it's a bit warm um, you know not that you know I would be able to keep my fingers on there uh, again at the base here you know the base plate is the hottest um, but yeah good I mean I was hammering her pretty hard there and flying into the wind so uh, uh, it's about nine nine or ten degrees Celsius here today nice nice mild day um, but yeah I would uh, definitely um, uh, recommend this prop you know if you can't get uh, the 6x4 EPC gas like I said uh, you know the top end speed I didn't it's, and it's tough to tell because we're flying in some wind here uh, the top end speed I didn't see uh, a whole lot of uh, difference uh, even though it was you know I think on the bench producing about 60 or 70 percent more uh, amps or uh, grams of thrust than the 6x4 EPC gas but uh, yeah mid-range power really good uh, you know helps provide lots of torque um, you know this motor's not having any problems spinning that prop with the you know the extra little bit of pitch there I mean I've tested and swung a 6x5 KMP with this uh, motor and you know it was it was okay it was again about the same as the uh, 6x4 ABC gas so yeah I'm very uh, very pleased with that you know it's a it's I'm, I'm realizing that it's a really good prop for those lower KV motors uh, you know with that bit of extra pitch different blade shape um, you know you do get what you pay for like I said I had to play around a bit with a ring uh, spacer ring to get it to fit nice and snug on the um, uh, on the prop adapter there but uh, she's running nice and smooth now so yeah I'm really impressed so you know I, I would say for this motor uh, you know the difference between this one and the 6x4 APC gas is not not a whole lot maybe you know a tiny bit more mid-range power and you know maybe arguably a little bit better uh, top end power but like I said uh, you know the nice thing about it is you can get four of these in a package um, depending on where you live shipping is free for me from Banggood it takes a while to get them uh, so it's it's definitely a less expensive um, option you know with shipping I'm paying over three dollars US for the 6x4 APC gas props and I know you know talking to people through my YouTube channel there's a lot of folks that depending on where they are in the world they just can't can't get it but uh, yeah so anyway uh, you know not a bad little transmitter uh, you know it's it feels uh, super light in my hands obviously I, you know in my video it's it's uh, I don't know 250 grams 260 grams lighter than my uh, Trinity 9x uh, the sticks like I said are they feel super smooth even maybe a little bit uh, I don't know that they feel loose they're not uh, sloppy or anything um, I think I'm going to get it to fit the way that I like to fly I think I mentioned I, I would like probably slightly longer sticks but uh, yeah the range is good I mean you know these trees out here uh, I don't know straight line out to those trees um, I'd be guessing I think it's about 300 plus maybe 300 meters I'm not sure uh, so range is certainly no problem uh, you know I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever uh, response to the you know to all the inputs is really good like I said I I'm I cranked up my expo a little bit in the pitch and the roll um, just because I found it was a bit too sensitive so maybe as I get more used to it um, you know I might I might dial those back down again but it, again it just goes by what you feel like and every radio there you know the expo is is going to be uh, a little bit different so that's fine but anyway folks busy day uh, like I said uh, first time I've been out in a couple weeks uh, my sloppy flying there probably showed that but anyway she came down in one piece <clears throat> So I'll have uh, some write-ups uh, linked down below uh, on both my uh, my impressions of this prop with this uh, with this inexpensive motor and of course this uh, this very uh, inexpensive little uh, little transmitter FlySky FSI6. So uh, thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.